Hello, fellow Minecraft parents. Uh, I've actually gotten a few views on the video I posted yesterday, which I'm really excited about because I, <clears throat> pardon me, I really hope that it, it, it's helping people. Uh, but I got a comment uh, or more of a question here uh, from a user, Ethan Zane, that Forge won't run on my Mac because it is created by an unidentified developer. I've tried it three times. What should I do? Well, so Ethan Zane, that's a great question. And this is actually a security feature that was um, put into Mac OS 10, I believe in version 10.8. But it's actually pretty easy to get around. Let me show you what you need to do. What you're going to do is you're going to go click on the Apple up here in the upper left hand corner, and then you're going to click on System Preferences. Once you're in the system preferences menu, you're going to click on security and privacy. And then you're going to click on general. And if you see right here, uh, allow apps downloaded from, and the choices are Mac App Store, Mac App Store, and identified developers, and then you have anywhere. I have mine set to anywhere because I, uh, being uh, kind of an open source uh, Cody kind of a guy, tend to download a lot of different applications from different uh, Git repositories and whatnot. So uh, it's just easier for me to put it on anywhere. So you can uh, switch it there uh, and you will need to authenticate as the uh, admin user in order to do that. I'm not going to do that right now. And once you put it on anywhere, you can then go ahead and install Forge. Once you install Forge, it's probably a good idea to go back into your security and privacy menu and then select Mac App Store. Uh, to not allow uh, any other applications to be uh, installed when downloaded. But this is uh, good to know where this is located at in OS 10. I hope this helps.